hi everybody. Welcome to the bathroom studio. I hope you enjoy the um, bath drop I got set up here, which is my uh, cactus shower curtain. I'm here to show you how to cut your own hair. So I've been cutting my own hair since 2013 now, and I started out uh, just using clippers and buzzing the whole thing. So I got my uh, wall clippers here. I would um, just start with the number eight guard and then um, blend it out from there and get a real nice short haircut. Uh, that worked great. Um, but then I kind of realized I could uh, get a pair of barber scissors. Uh, so like, you know, these guys. And I realized I could still buzz the sides and the back and then scissor cut the top, and that way I would achieve your uh, kind of like a more normal men's haircut. So let's do a quick uh, inventory and show you the uh, gear that you're gonna need. Wall clippers, spray bottle, alligator clips, a mirror here, barber scissors, there's three guards. I use a number four, eight, and 10. Towel here, a uh, mirror sticking out with the uh, steps I follow. Um, that way when I'm doing this, you know, you don't forget something. It's kind of nice to have this written out. One item that I forgot to mention is the, the comb. I'm definitely going to need that guy. So, uh, first thing I kind of, I have my part on the left side here, so I'll just kind of comb it down to, uh, make sure that's got that nice clean part, uh, on that side. And then, um, I'm going to take the, uh, alligator hair clip and then just kind of slide that in. Hold it, do the same thing and then kind of just try to pull it up. Go across, kind of hold that in place, like so. Grab my other alligator clip, uh, and then pop it in place. Got my uh, clippers here. Here I start with my uh, number 10. Uh, all right, and I'm pretty sure because I'm videoing this that I'm definitely gonna screw something up. So, you know, it's just part of the process too. I mean, you're at home, who cares? You screw it up, it'll grow back, it's fine. So yeah, first clip, here we go. All right, so the thing to kind of keep in mind here is what I always try to do is I get as close to the top as I can and I even use my fingers to like really make sure I am getting all the way close to the part as I possibly can. The reason you want to do this is because once you start blending, um, if you don't go all the way up on the first guard you start at, you won't, your line won't be blended as well. You're gonna have like, it's gonna look a little longer on top, it'll look a little funny. Uh, it's really not that big a deal, but it's just kind of something to keep in mind. As I cruise around the back, and here just because I've done it a bunch, I kind of just got a feel for how far up I kind of want to go, but if you could just imagine like this same part line kind of continuing around your head, like that's about where you kind of want to go. So maybe at this point I'll take a look, see uh, how the back is doing. Uh, so if you can see in there, um, um, you know, you can kind of like see where that line of, if anything's like a little bit longer, so like maybe kind of like these strands here I can kind of see are kind of hanging down a little bit. So I'll probably try to hit the clippers again and then maybe go a little bit higher, like up there in the back. down to uh, the uh, number eight. So yeah, it's okay. So this time we're not gonna go all the way to the top. That was the first guard you start on, you always wanna go to the very, very top. But the next one is where you're kind of, you're starting that blend, right? So on that guy, I'm gonna kind of come up and then you can hear it cutting your hair too. So like once I'm hitting it, cutting a little bit, I'm probably going about halfway up, honestly. And then this is just thinning out the bottom part, you know, so you're just kind of starting that blend. Something to keep in mind. 
recommend here too is that um, you know when you style and put product in, uh, it's going to hide any of those like small mistakes you have. So if a certain section like looks like it's kind of uh, popping out a little too much, you kind of don't worry about that. Is what I'm saying. So here's about the point where you're going to want to grab your towel and kind of just clean things up. You know, always want to be getting all that loose hair off if you can. So now we are going down to the number four. So this guy four right there. This guy is just for the sideburns. So here, um, get that hair out of here. Uh, basically, I'm just looking to hit the sideburns up a little bit. It's kind of a little thick right here. So kind of just start here and I kind of just go up to like maybe the top of the ear. That's about as far as I go. Um, so kind of line the hair up straight. And just kind of to like to the top of the ear, just like a little bit. And that's it for number four. All right, so now we're gonna edge the ears and uh, the back. Basically, I'm just going to uh, kind of straighten out the hair, kind of like around your ears. Uh, here you kind of want to turn your head and you're kind of looking on the side. And then took the guard off, so now it's just a straight clipper. So here, obviously, you're gonna be a little more careful. And you kind of just go around your ear, you know? A lot of it's like, if you see like stray hairs near your sideburns, you can kind of clean those up, you know? But I'm just kind of going on the top and I just use the uh, edge of the clippers. And here I usually try to like, if there's extra hair like that, that's kind of gonna be hanging over, I'll try to like clip that off. So I'll kind of brush my hair around a little bit, see if there's any extra long ones, and then kind of come back and then kind of hit that. Take a little break, stretch the legs. All right, so now it's time to do uh, probably the hardest part, which um, is the back. So this is a spot where if you have someone that can help you, you know, you know, you have a uh, you know wife, children, whoever really next door neighbor, I don't know, get them to come by, and then it only takes like a minute, and they can go and like just do the back of your uh, back of your hair. But otherwise, you can do it yourself too. Should I do that? Um, and actually the first step is to uh, take the mirror. And what you wanna do is uh, I kinda just like brush my hair kinda like down so it's all smooth. And then kinda get an eye for where you want that line to start. So it kinda depends on where your hair naturally grows. So for me, I got kind of like this like, more of like a bald, emptier spot in the middle. So I do the line like about here kind of. And then I kinda just come across to keep that clean across. Um, and then follow it on the other side too, so. Again, get your clippers, no guard. Turn back now, and um, yeah, just get the mirror, line it up, and then draw your line. Get those neck hairs off too. Careful when you're coming around the front because you can nick your beard if you have a beard. You can do the right. I kind of like to try to really straighten it out so that I can get the line. Get a little closer for you there. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? All right, so now it's time to scissor cut the top. So I'm gonna take the alligator clips out. And I got my uh, spray bottle, and I'm just going to give it a good spritz pretty much all around. This bottle is really small, so it takes a lot of spritzing. And basically, I'm following those same uh, part lines that I made earlier, 
and kind of just bringing it all up to the top. All right, once you get it nice and wet, you want to get your uh, clippers and well, actually first to get your comb. And with the comb, what you can do is you can, once it's kind of all up, you can cut it in different segments. So say you want to cut the front first, I kind of like put this in the middle, kind of draw it down, and then you're kind of just gathering it together uh, with the comb. So once I kind of bring him up like that, and we just go uh, straight across, then grab your uh, scissors, and this part definitely takes the most getting used to. Uh, looking in the mirror and then cutting it can be a little tricky at first, but you kind of get used to it. Uh, yeah, and like so, you just kind of keep alternating between you can grab your comb, bring it together, Grab your scissors and then take some more off the top. And the reason you just go, you gather together and go straight across is because that's going to naturally blend it for you. So that's going to leave the uh, shorter in the middle and then they'll be kind of like longer going out as you like pull the hair together. So that way it's not all, you know, you're not cutting it all like one length. <laughs> As you do, you can kind of see like I got a lot more length on the left side, so I realized I kind of missed the left a little bit that was going across. So now what I want to do is I want to make sure I grab that side when I pull it up. And I can even see it's a little longer too, so that way it'll help me uh, kind of even it out. So at some point once you're doing this, your hair will get a little bit shorter and you can kind of just naturally use your fingers instead of the comb too. Um, I didn't do that at first, but after I started cutting hair for a while, it kind of got more comfortable. And you can kind of just use your fingers as like a comb. And that just allows you to go a lot faster. Because switching between the comb and the scissors is kind of a hassle. But once you kind of get a feel for, uh, you know, how long you want your hair, you can kind of just do that. else you can do too is if you want it like a little shorter on the front like you just don't want your uh, bangs too long I guess I don't have bangs because I part it but you can uh, just comb it straight down the front like that and then just take a little bit off I wouldn't take too much off here because it'll mess up the blending but you know like I kind of like it just like above the uh, eyebrows so Careful around your eyes, but you can kind of just go across there and trim that down. All right. So once you get the length looking pretty good on top, uh, now what you want to do is you want to just spray and comb your hair like you normally would uh, style it in the morning. So I'm just going to kind of, I have a left part here, so I'm just going to comb my part back in. And what I'm looking for here is basically just to see once it's all combed down, do the lengths look right. So this actually, if you part one side like I do, this gives you a lot of leeway where if I screwed up anything on this side, it's kind of hidden now. 
So that's kind of nice. So like this is usually for me the more important side to make sure I don't have any major screw ups on that. And I kind of rough it up a bit, up like that. So now is the time uh, to quick clean up, and we're gonna bust that vacuum out, uh, and then hop in the shower, go loose hair out, and then I will come back, uh, style it up, and show you uh, do kind of a side by side look. Uh, before and after, show you how that, how that turned out. Um, oh, one last thing I didn't mention was when you're, after you clip your hair, that's actually a great time if you have a beard or mustache to bust out your uh, uh, beard trimmer. And then you're already making a mess anyway, so you might as well just trim that up as well. So yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then I will come back and I will show you how it looks. Everybody, so I'm back out of the shower, all cleaned up, and I put a little bit of uh, paste in my hair um, currently I use this Axe, uh, Messy Look Paste. I just bought whatever's cheapest at Target. And, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good, I think. See if I can figure out how to do a side-by-side -side video for comparison. Um, and, yeah, lastly, just hope everyone is staying safe out there. And you're all keeping yourselves healthy, both mentally and physically. And just, you know, I encourage you just to take the time to... Uh, do whatever you can to kind of keep yourself uh, feeling well, you know, maybe that's giving yourself a trim or maybe just uh, doing some meditation or enjoying a healthy meal. And that's all I got to say. Signing off here.